what's up you guys thank you so much for tuning in this time i will show you how to set up a compass e314n version 2 and this is a new array package and what is inside we will check together so when you open the box you must see see the package inside okay First, of course, is the, the device that we want for it. Okay, and here is these our ports for the LAN reset and the one. Our POA adapter and this uh, power cord, and of course the, the wire. What we call this one steel. I don't know what's the name of this, uh, but this is the hold the 314 and the pole that's the purpose of this one. And of course the manual written in Chinese. Chinese and at the back is in English. Okay. So the purpose of my drone for N is to spread my PC Wi-Fi signal. So I will set this as a bridge and I will show you. Okay, so we prepare now the materials, our device here, the adapter, <coughs> and <coughs> excuse me. The, the power cord insert this and additional materials this is not included in the package two internet patch cords okay so to power up our device we need a patch cord from the poe of our adapter poe adapter insert in the poe port and at the back of the device you insert in the one port of the device okay and to figure to configure configure that the device using a computer or laptop then you must turn on this LAN here there here is a switch so turn this on this command on off because we are still going to configure this via LAN so insert this one and the other end to our computer or laptop okay and observe the lights as I insert the power going to our outlet there it's lighting now Okay, so that's it. So we go now to our computer. Okay, so in our computer, first things first is to go here in the network connections in the control panel and right click the Ethernet. Let's check the IP before it must be DHCP. So obtain IP address automatically and click ok once it's done okay since i have logged in this device lately so in your browser uh, let's let's close this first in your browser type in the ip address provided at the back of the device it says 192.168.10.1 okay so i will show you 
where you can find this right here in the device so this IP address and uh, password is admin okay it's asking for our password and let's type in admin click OK and we go here since we are going to use this as a bridge then we go to the wizard so here is the choices bridge IP or repeater router so bridge and station client site and then let's not just uh, change the IP yet so we go to next and then since this is a bridge mode then we must scan the SSID that we are going to uh, what we call this one bridge to this device uh, for me I'm gonna choose my Vincent piece of Wi-Fi 1 and just click here the resistor symbol and password nothing and you can max this lens range that is only 10 kilometers only possible if you have a line of sight so click finish okay it is now bridge client using the SSID Vincent piece of Wi-Fi 1 and it is a link so we go here in the network to secure our Comfast 314N we must change this IP address later let's just change the password of our device so old password is admin and for the testing let me just put ABC123 uh, you can put whatever password you wanted so just confirm Okay, it is a logout and let's type the new password. It's ABC123. Login. Okay, so in the network, we change this IP address so that nobody can access. If you knew, you can't access this uh, device anymore after we modify. So nothing to touch for the system is only we're only changing the password firewall nothing to touch here in the mac filter this is unapplicable when we are in router mode right now we are using the bridge mode okay this firewall we can use you can do this in our router okay so no yet no users here yet since I guess we're all done and all set for the bridge mode of our 314N. So let's change the IP address and click modify. After the settings is confirmed, then your device will restart. Okay, so we are now logged out and even if you type in the IP address we put in that was 102.168.2.1 you can't log into the device see even if you go into the default 192.168.10.1 you it's unreachable okay so our device is now set to bridge mode via Vincent PC Wi-Fi 1 and we can't access anymore and that's it see you next time